What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about Zechariah chapter 7. Zechariah chapter 7. One of the biggest questions that we have are, are religious rituals right or wrong? Have you ever asked yourself that in Christianity? Well, this chapter specifically talks about that. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to give you not only the breakdown of this chapter and introduction, but I'm going to give you also additional um, Bible verses that you can research and go through and add to this study. So stick around to the end and you'll get that. So I want to talk to you about this and I want to um, show you some more questions that people ask even today. G guys, this, this present passage raises interest or interesting questions. It is an important question and one that many people still ask today. Are religious rituals right or wrong? Are they pleasing and unpleasing to the Lord? Does the Lord require that we fast or observe other traditions or church or scriptures command or recommend? What about holding spiritual uh, spiritual or special religious celebrations and memorial services? Put another way, are church traditions, ceremonies helpful to us? And which one are really required by God? Furthermore, should we observe these religious traditions and rituals? even if they are not commanded by God? The answer to those questions is straightforward. Straightforward. Tradition can be either good or bad. They can be both right and wrong, pleasing and unpleasing um, to the Lord. It all depends on one thing, our motives. Our heart attitude makes the difference, all the difference in the world. The crooks of the issue is whether our hearts truly worship the Lord. Do we practice traditions out of a sincere devotion to God or something else? Do we observe special holy days or practice spiritual discipline to honor him or to bring honor to ourselves? Are we truly seeking to draw closer to the Lord or merely practicing our tradition out of habit and thoughtless routine? Guys, in this present scripture, the Lord warns us against empty rituals, rituals and religious practices that do not change our hearts. The Lord also warns us against disobedience and religious hypocrisy. We are guilty of hypocrisy if we follow rituals and traditions without being obedient to the Lord. Some people even trust rituals to save them, to make them. They think that the rituals of baptism, confirmation, some other ceremonies makes them acceptable to God. Thus, think that they can be disobedient in some parts of, of their lives as long as they make up for it in other parts of their lives, as long as they attend church, tithe, pray, and fast. But the Lord warns us that religious activities are never a substitute, never a substitute above all things. He demands it from every believer. This is the subject of the present scripture. The title of this is The Warning Against Heartless, Insincere Religion, a picture of importance of obedience covered in Ze Zechariah chapter 7, verses 1 to 14. This chapter is broken down into two parts. You'll see the first part, you'll see the rebuke of religious hypocrisy covered in verses 1 to 8. Second, you'll see the call to repent and obey the Lord covered in in verses 9 to 14. Also, I want you to take these other um, scriptures and match them up and bring them together because they'll make perfect sense to you. If you look at 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22, that's 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. The next one is Isaiah chapter 1, verses 11 to 20. Isaiah chapter 1, verses 11 to 20. And Isaiah 58, verses 1 to 14. Isaiah 58, verses 1 to 14. And the last one being 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. If this was interesting, do me a favor, hit, hit the like button or like this video. Also, if you leave a comment, if you have questions, put them in the comment below. But if you, um, type amen. I will send you a personal message. I have some personal message to get back to already. And um, if you want to get a, the full breakdown of this chapter, 
go over to my YouTube channel, type in my name, look into the live, and you'll see the chapter that we're talking about. And you can watch the full breakdown of this chapter and the corresponding um, scriptures that I gave you. Thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your family. And I'll see you in the next video.